you know, I was thinking I should bring a car, drive to here, but maybe, you know, next time I'll bring a spaceship, it'll make a better presentation. Um, I am going to be talking about some weird and wacky stuff. You know, we're talking about biophysics. I mean, we started talking about some heavy chemistry, so I hope that no one will be insulted, but I'm going to make it very, very simple for you. So what I'm going to try to cover today is pretty exciting. How does a human really work? Uh, you know, I spent a quarter million dollars and 10 years trying to figure that out, and sadly, I don't really think I learned that as I got out and got into practice. So if a human really worked the way I learned, I would have made everybody better, so I had to start over. Why do we breathe? Uh, and when you ask this to a room of doctors, uh, you'll be surprised that we don't really get taught that, and that's a very important part, and it'll get back to the biophysics. Uh, what are the hidden toxins that are aging us? Because if we want to live forever, if we want to get better, and we, we've heard from the previous conversations, toxicity is what's eating up all our glutathione, eating up all our vitality. The less toxins we encounter, the better. And then how can you really transform your health using all this information? So our goal really, we've said it, is optimal health. You know, to be an optimal athlete, optimal dad, optimal spouse, optimal employee, right? I mean, we want to succeed. So nobody, nobody set out to get sick. When they walk in, you know, the physician office and say, I'm, I'm sick, nobody set out. We all wanted to get to some level of optimal. And if you're given the right instructions, it's possible. So... We started from one cell and we created this complex human organism with all these different millions and gazillions of cells, even in each, every tissue line. How do we regenerate it? Well, we have the ability to regenerate as well. And so, un unfortunately, I'm not showing any crazy biologic diagrams like my previous speaker. There's no cells here because we really are more like this semiconductor board this electronic semiconductor chips and resistors board than we are a bag of fluid. Our foundational ability to create life, what do we say when, when the, the egg and the cell meet? It's the spark of life. It's not the chemical explosion of life, it's the spark of life. In fact, there's a literal spark. There's a literal spark, and you can read about the physics of it. It's pretty crazy.